Greetings. Welcome back to Ministry Monday. This is Carlton Kuhn. Let's continue the conversation about uh, disciple making. And I'm going to just give you a little practical idea that worked extremely well, extremely well for us. Um, and it's kind of simple, and it's, but anyway, well, just listen. Uh, on the last Sunday of each month, if you're having quite a few newcomers come in, or on the last Sunday of each quarter, just calendar it as a time to welcome newcomers to the church. Okay, now what worked for me was to have newcomers, people that have been baptized, people that received the Holy Spirit, call them to the front, give them their uh, certificate of baptism, certificate regarding feel, being filled with the Spirit, and, and then if we'd had other people move in and uh, relocate to our church who were new to us, um, we would call them up as well. And I would have them turn and, and look at me, and uh, I'd just say, Hi, you, you guys already know me. Um, you've heard me fall over myself preaching and trying to do some things, and, and uh, I'm, I'm not a perfect pastor, and if you're looking for a perfect pastor, then you're gonna to need to look elsewhere. Uh, this is not a perfect church. There's things that we're not any good at. Our church bowling team has never won the city title, and mainly because we don't have a church bowling team. But there's things we just don't fret about, not good at. And if you're looking for perfect people, perfect church, church with no hypocrites, well, um, you, need to, you need to go some, somewhere else. This is a church where that um, we function as a body and there is the expectation of each person in the body participating. And so if you're looking for a church just to be um, someone who rides the wagon, then we've already got all the people here uh, riding the wagon that we need. We're carrying as many of those we can. And I can recommend several churches for you to go to where maybe you can just get there and ride along. And of course, I'd laugh and uh, would talk with them about our fitly framed uh, ministry and helping them find their giftings. And, and anyway, I, I did it in a, in a way that included humor. And uh, then the last thing I would say as they were looking at me is I would say, and, and you know, we have decided as a congregation that we are not going to be a gossiping church. And so I empower you now that if you are ever in a setting where one saint, one member of our church is speaking derisively of another, that person is not there to defend themselves, I empower you now to rebuke them. And I just laugh and say, you're, you're empowered to be the rebuker and call pastor and, and um, we'll take care of it. Um, and then we would have the church come by, give them the right hand of fellowship. It got to where it was taking so long because we, had, we, we were winning you people. It was a blast. I'd try to stop it and people would say, no, nah, we need to keep doing that. That's really an opportunity for us to welcome new people into our congregation, for us to see them, for us to know. And, uh, I, and there were reasons when I, why I made the statements that I made. Uh, I did want them to know that we were imperfect, and so that takes the monkey off our back. The second thing that I wanted them to know and realize um, was that this was a church of participation, but it also gave me the opportunity to say that to the entire congregation, either once a month or once a quarter, that if you're part of this church, there is an expectation for you to have a defined role of ministry. And then, of course, when I talked about gossip and them being empowered to rebuke somebody, it allowed me yet again to talk about and, and do it very succinctly. I didn't have to take a whole service to talk about gossip. 
but to say to our people, we are not going to be a gossiping church. And then the right hand of fellowship, people come through hugging and, and uh, just welcoming, and it, it was a blast. Try it. It may work for you. You may be doing something better. If you are, send me a note about it. I'd love to hear it. Let's keep our spiritual babies. That's the deal. Let's keep our newcomers and see them grow to maturity in Christ.